I am a big fan of history. And during the Civil War, the 1860s, I was looking at their shoes that they wore. And they had some really plain, basic shoes, or if you want to call them boots, you can call them boots. Um, but I really like the way they look. And I kept putting it off. And I wanted to buy a pair, but I just didn't get around to it. And then I thought, you know, they look pretty good. I'll just buy a pair and I'll use them as Sunday shoes. And I was scrolling through eBay, saw a pair up for $100 with shipping and taxes. And I thought, you know, I'm going to buy those. And here they are. These are, um, I think these are the U.S. version of the Brogans, not the Confederate version. Um, I don't know that for sure. But I do know that the U.S. military had these plates on the heel. Um, yeah, they're, they're really nice. They're basic. They're, these are crude shoes. They aren't made to be in a beauty contest, but I enjoy wearing them on Sunday. Oh, they just look, they look so good, don't they, with the white? Oh, they just look so good. But, um, yeah, the leather, it's actually pretty soft. It's nice and supple. It's not too hard. When I first got them, I didn't have insoles in them, and I were expecting them to be extremely uncomfortable. And surprisingly, they weren't that bad. But I did put insoles in them just because I ordered a half size too big. I haven't broken them in completely yet, but this isn't really a review on how well they break in as much as it's a review just to kind of explain to you what these are and what my purpose is for them and what their purpose used to be. So, yeah, during the Civil War, this is the shoe that the armies fought on. The Union and the Confederacy both had brogans pretty much exactly like this. In the beginning of the war, the brogans they had actually, they didn't have a left shoe and a right shoe. They were just built on a straight last. So they're like socks. You could flip them around on your feet. Um, but after a day of wearing or so, they actually molded your foot and became a left shoe and a right shoe. I'm pretty happy with these. Um, the only thing I'm not really happy about is how much they were. For for such a basic shoe, you really should be able to get these for $15. If you had some cobbler skills, you probably could make your own pair of these pretty easily. Because it's super, super basic. The only stitching on the upper is what you see right here. That's it. And the eyelets, there's no metal in the eyelets. It's just a hole punched into the leather. Very, very simple. The tongue, of course, is very simple as well. There's no um, stitching on the top. It's just cut straight off, straight off the leather right there. They do have a cup in the heel, but that's just a piece of leather on the inside right there. It's just very simple construction. Now, if you're not a fan of history, I would not recommend you buy these because they're pretty expensive and you probably won't enjoy them because they aren't the most comfortable shoe out there. You can get shoes that are way more comfortable than this for a lot cheaper price than $100. So this is more for like people like me that are really into history. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll... Can I do uh, the outro now? Well, I thought I, thought I was going to do the outro. This is my video. I do the editing. Well, yeah, I know you do the editing. This should be my video. Well, I still get to decide what we talk about. I'm going to do the outro. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.